with you guys today we're going to take a look at how to extract images from a pdf file now we all sometimes find images that we want to reuse and if they're in a pdf file they're normally embedded so you can't save them but i'm going to show you a way how to extract them so you can reuse them but before we do that let's have a word from today's sponsor cd key cells if you're looking for cheap windows 10 pro oem keys then check the links in the video description, click on those, and they will take you to the website where you can register an account and then buy your Windows 10 Pro OEM key. You can get 30% off and use my promo code, capital B, capital R, 09, apply this to your order, pay for your purchase, and then you will receive a legit key where you can activate your version of Windows. Okay, so we have a PDF file here. Let me open this up and you can see we have some images inside here. So you can't right click and save as because these are embedded images in this PDF file. But what if you want to reuse some of these images in another document? Well, you're going to have to extract them. And this is where it becomes a little bit more tricky. Now, there's quite a few ways of going about extracting images from a PDF file, and that's what we're going to be showing you in this video. There's quite a few ways to show you, so I'll show you some of the, the normal ways of going about doing this. First off, there's the snipping tool. Now, the snipping tool is going to allow you to snip and cut the image out of this document. The problem is it will use the background, which is already on the PDF file here. So in this case, it's white. So if I open up the snipping tool by typing snipping tool inside the search box here, click new and we can snip this image out. Now you will need to remove the background if you want this as a PNG or transparent image because it's only going to allow you to snip out the image like this. So this is not the ideal way of doing things in my personal opinion, but if you do want to use this quick and dirty method, you can do and this will allow you to clip the image out by just go basically using the snipping tool and uh, once you've got this out you can save this and then set, send this to photoshop and remove the background or use one of those remove background online or something like that to remove the background image okay so let's take a look at another way of doing this which is a much better way of doing it so here we have the actual pdf file here so i'm going to right click on this pdf file and go open with and then choose another app. Once we get here, click on more apps and we're going to use Word. Now, if you don't have Word, don't worry, I'll show you another way after this method. So let's click on Word and this will open up the PDF in Word. It would then say Word will now convert your PDF to an editable uh, Word document. And this is what we're going to do. It might say this will take a while, but just click OK here. And you can now see we do have this PDF inside of our Word document. Now in some circumstances, you could just click on these images now and you can right click and save these if you wanted to, just save the image itself by uh, just right clicking and saving. Let me just show you this here. So right click on this image here and you can see here, it will say save as picture and we can then save this picture to say for instance, our pictures uh, area. And we can save this one as well and I'm just going to save this to our pictures location. And you can see it's saving these as a PNG file. So this is one way of going about doing it. You can resize these as well and then save them or whatever it is you want to do. Uh, but you can manipulate these. Now we've got it inside Word itself. So it's quite a useful way of extracting the images from here. And of course, once we've saved these to our uh, pictures area, we can then and manipulate these in whatever format we want. We can put them into Photoshop, into another document, or whatever it is you want to do. And they completely open these up. So let me just open these up in photos here, and you should see there. And it is a PNG, as you can see. So that is another way of doing it. Now, another good, cool way of doing this is to open up the Word document again, and we're going to go to the file and then save as this PC and desktop. And then what we're going to do in the drop down list here, we are going to save this as a web page. This is important. Make sure you've got the web page HTM and also HTML. Make sure you put the check mark in save uh, thumbnails and uh, put the check mark in there. And we can now click on save. And this will then save this to our desktop. So let's go to our desktop and see what's happened here now. So we do have our folder that's created with the uh, HTML. 
and you can see there is a file there as well. What we're interested in is the actual folder. Inside here will be all of the images extracted from that Word document and put into a little placement folder here, which we can then get access to all the images in one foul swoop. We don't have to save these one by one. It will save these all into a folder as a PNG and a GIF or GIF or whatever you want to call it. So basically that is how you can extract them using that method there. Very simple and easy to do. Now I could already hear you saying in the comments section, I don't have Office or Word on my PC. So how can I go about extracting these using this method? And I don't want to use the snipping tool method. Well, if that is the case, you can head over to extractpdf.com and upload your PDF file there by clicking on the file and uploading it. And you can see it will extract the images for you just like this. So all you need to do now is save this to uh, a zip file. So you can see here, download all the images uh, to a zip file. So let's go ahead and do this and I'll download this to our PC and then we can extract these and I'll just drag them onto the PC desktop uh, so you can see them here. So here are all the files and these are the ones we can use. So there is always a method uh, to get these images out of PDF files. So let's click on one of these here. You can see there's two images here and I'm going to click on this and there is the image there. And there's the other image. So it's extracted all of these just as you can see here. So very simple and easy to do. So whatever method suits you, I prefer the web page method. Now, if you enjoy this type of content, then check out my YouTube channel. I've got over 2,500 videos on uh, Windows operating systems, Linux, uh, computer builds, how-to videos, and basically loads of other technology videos on there, which are very, very useful uh, to a lot of people. Also, while you're there, hit the subscribe button and then click the bell and then click all to be notified when we upload new videos. If you want to show your appreciation in a financial way, you can hit the join button and join my YouTube members group. Each of these are priced differently and they have different perks. And uh, as I said, if you want to uh, join my YouTube members group, there's some free tiers there you can choose from and uh, choose which one suits you. And you can cancel at any time. Also, these people you see rolling up on the screen right now are people who have joined my second tier of support, which I do appreciate, and your names are rolling up on the screen right now. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.